Public diplomacy is a way of enhancing the status of Korea in the world by communicating with people of various nations. Tang Jae-bok, Ambassador for Public Diplomacy at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is at the center of such public diplomacy efforts. After joining the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1988, Tang served as Director of the Human Rights and Social Affairs Division in 2007 and also was appointed as the Consul General of the Republic of Korea in Milan in 2014. In 2018, Tang served as the Deputy Minister for Protocol Affairs. He has also been posted at the Korean Permanent Mission to the United Nations in New York and also worked in various other locations such as Ghana, Switzerland and France. Based on such a broad range of experiences, he currently plays an active role as Ambassador for Public Diplomacy. Today on Heart to Heart, Ambassador Tang Jae-bok joins us to share his thoughts on public diplomacy and the duties of an Ambassador for Public Diplomacy. when you think diplomacy. Many people may naturally think diplomats representing their own government. Well, today's guest engages in diplomatic activities, working to promote Korea's image and also to bring Korea closer to world citizens. I would like to welcome Ambassador Tang Jae-bok, Ambassador for Public uh, Diplomacy at the Korean Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Hello and welcome to our studio. It's great to have you with us. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming once again. Uh, I'd like to uh, first of all begin with uh, maybe, I guess, a simple question. What is public diplomacy and why is it important in the 21st century? Well, um, let me uh, say um, like this. The public diplomacy uh, is designed to win the hearts and minds of the uh, foreign uh, people. Uh -huh. uh, especially in the 21st century, uh, we have several uh, the changes in our uh, life. The, we have now uh, the very developed uh, information and uh, communication technology. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a digital tool uh, to uh, let uh, the information uh, pass yes. very uh, quickly. And also uh, democratization uh, in, in the world. So the people's power, uh, even in the uh, foreign policy uh, decision making, is, became uh, very important. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to uh, the contact not only the, the government but also the uh, general public in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, it, it is uh, really important in this uh, 21st century. So for the case of Korea, uh, in 2016, uh, the Public Diplomacy Act was enacted. And according to that act, public diplomacy is defined as the diplomatic activities to enhance and promote uh, the understanding, uh, foreign uh, nationals' understanding of Korea, mm -hmm. and the the, uh, the trust or confidence in in Korea uh, through uh, culture and knowledge and uh, policies, etc. So the status and environment of uh, Korean diplomacy is rapidly changing. Uh, so I guess the, cover, uh, the Korean government also needs to, I guess, respond actively to these changes. So I'd like to ask uh, about maybe some of the projects the Korean Ministry of Foreign Affairs is, uh, hopes to focus on uh, this year. Yeah, before I get into uh, the details of the key projects mm -hmm. uh, for this year, I must say uh, this. Uh, Public diplomacy is like um, uh, planting an apple tree. Uh. So when you plant an apple tree today, mm -hmm. uh, you cannot expect its fruit uh, tomorrow. Absolutely. 
So results uh, can show uh, in a mid or long term. Uh, so one must have patience uh, and uh, make a, uh, the investment uh, in these activities. Uh, in this context, um, the Korean government uh, has established the uh, five-year uh, master plan mm -hmm. uh, the, during the term uh, 2017 to 2021. So now uh, it's time to uh, reflect on the past 10 years and prepare for the uh, next 10 years. Uh -huh. So this year we have to focus more on uh, the strengthening uh, the public diplomacy implementation system and uh, developing uh, the strategic and integrated uh, policy-oriented uh, approach and the lastly uh, the diversifying the contents for public diplomacy. So to do so, uh, we have three key projects. The, the first one uh, regarding the uh, implementation system. Uh, the foreign ministry launched the public diplomacy information system. Uh, this is about uh, the information sharing mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, together with the uh, pub public diplomacy actors government officials and also local government officials and some uh, public institutions. And also uh, for, uh, from this system, we, we, we are going to prevent uh, the redundancies mm -hmm. in uh, public diplomacy uh, projects. And the second, uh, for the uh, strengthening uh, the policy-oriented public diplomacy, uh, especially in the US, China, and Japan, and Russia, uh, we introduced the uh, hub embassies, actually a kind of hub center mm -hmm. for the public diplomacy. Uh, so uh, we have uh, the hub for the public diplomacy uh, in Washington, D.C., in our uh, the Korean embassy mm -hmm. in the U.S., and we are going to, uh, to bring this to uh, the other three countries, the, this system to other countries in China, uh, Japan, and Russia. And for the last one, uh, the, uh, diversifying the cultural contents of the uh, uh, public diplomacy. Uh, last year, uh, on the occasion of the uh, Korea uh, ASEAN Commemorative Summit, the Foreign Ministry organized uh, the Culture Innovation Summit. Mm -hmm. This is about uh, sharing the expertise and experience in culture, uh, cultural contents business. And we hope uh, to make this forum uh, like um, Davos Forum in the cultural uh, mm -hmm. community. So we will do uh, more uh, the, in, in these activities uh, to make it uh, the international forum uh, where uh, the artists and entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in the cultural uh, business or cultural content business uh, can uh, meet together and share the new idea and to, uh, to have a future-oriented uh, culture mm -hmm. uh, discussion. Yeah, sure sounds exciting because as, as you have just mentioned, the key projects uh, that you will be working on this year Obviously, public diplomacy or people's diplomacy, uh, you know, it, it puts human interaction center and front and needs full participation of the public. So can you maybe give us some examples of what uh, some of the roles there are that we individuals, people like me, everyone here in the studio can do for public diplomacy? What can we do? Uh, as the ambassador for public dip diplomacy, uh, we welcome uh, the, the full participation mm -hmm. of the uh, general public to the public diplomacy activities. However, in reality, uh, the, we, we don't expect uh, each and every citizen uh, to be active in the public diplomacy. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we have several, uh, we have various uh, projects to uh, encourage uh, the general public and the citizens to participate in the public diplomacy uh, activities. Uh, especially uh, the Korea Foundation, 
which is the uh, institution uh, who conducts uh, public diplomacy of Korea, uh, organized the uh, public diplomacy camp or uh, public diplomacy week. Mm -hmm. So people can learn and experience uh, the public diplomacy from those activities. From those activities, uh, people who participated in the uh, public diplomacy uh, program mm -hmm. uh, can learn and experience, and also uh, they can uh, they give us uh, feedback, and, and then uh, the foreign ministry will develop uh, the public diplomacy activities uh, based on those feedbacks. Mm -hmm. I, I think that will be uh, the, the virtuous cycle mm -hmm. to have uh, you know, good uh, di public diplomacy of Korea. Sure. I think we're doing quite well because uh, one example is the Korean wave, Hallyu. Uh, I believe uh, the Korean wave has contributed in enhancing Korea's image. So my question is, how is Korea or how is Korea's image uh, viewed or perceived in the international society? Yeah, whenever I uh, meet with the uh, foreign uh, diplomats and uh, government officials of the uh, foreign countries, mm -hmm. they mention about the uh, Korean way, yes. uh, K-pop uh -huh. and drama and uh, also movie and Korean food mm -hmm. also. Uh, last November, I, um, I led a delegation to uh, the uh, south of the U.S., uh, some, some, uh, several cities in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, and at that time in Dallas, I attended um, the uh, Korean festival mm -hmm. uh, the, in Dallas, organized by the uh, uh, Korean community uh, together with the uh, uh, municipality of the uh, small uh, town uh, mm -hmm. around Dallas. Is it an annual festival? Yes, it oh, is annual festival. Uh -huh. uh, I noticed that um, the more than 100,000 uh, the local Americans oh. uh, participated in the in the uh, wow. one day event. Wow. So uh -huh. yes, I realized that um, uh, K-pop mm -hmm. and along with other uh, the uh, Korean wave elements uh, were really uh, the, the factor uh, in, in that uh, the region. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's, uh, the, it's not only in the U.S., but also in, uh, in, in, in the world. Yes. And it's, it's amazing to hear how many locals actually showed up uh, to the festival, the Korean festival. Uh, also, I'd like to ask you about what you feel is the greatest difference uh, between I guess working in a foreign country as an ambassador and also working in the homeland as ambassador for public diplomacy. How is it different? What may be the biggest difference? Yeah, actually, as a diplomat abroad, mm -hmm. uh, usually uh, we, we work uh, the, with the, uh, the diplomats of the, uh, the country, host mm -hmm. country, and we think about the uh, the interest and demand uh, from uh, those uh, host countries and its, uh, their, their people. Mm -hmm. But uh, as, for, as, as the ambassador for uh, public diplomacy here at the ministry, uh, I am thinking about uh, mostly uh, the, the policies. So I spend more time on policies mm -hmm. and aim for uh, providing the balanced guidelines to the uh, diplomatic missions abroad. Mm -hmm. So actually in terms of the public diplomacy. Mm -hmm. So now public diplomacy is uh, part of the uh, main work of the embassies abroad. Mm -hmm. So we need to give, give them the balanced guidelines right. and also budget, the money and <laughs> <laughs> also manpower. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of uh, demanding <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, requests from the uh, diplomatic, uh, Korean diplomatic missions abroad. Mm. Sounds like, once again, a huge responsibility. Uh, we have captured on camera Ambassador Chang Jibok and his activities. So we'll take a look and we'll be right back to, con uh, to continue our conversation. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Korea and the Czech Republic. Ambassador for Public Diplomacy Tang Jae-bok visits the Embassy of the Czech Republic in Seoul 
to participate in a ceremony to award the winner of the commemorative logo design contest. Following the welcoming address of the Ambassador of the Czech Republic, Ambassador Chang gives his congratulatory remarks. Korea and Czech have been working for 30 years to celebrate the logo of logo convention. Today, the Czech Republic has been awarded the logo of the Czech Republic. The logo of the Czech Republic has been awarded the logo of the Czech Republic. 활용할 수 있도록 하는 그런 의미에서 오늘 행사를 갖게 되었습니다. Participating in such events are all part of Ambassador Cheng's efforts to promote public diplomacy. Now you're obviously spending each and every day very busily engaging in many different activities, uh, and uh, you have it's already been your. 32nd, it, this is your 32nd year working as That's a diplomat. Right. Yes. Not an easy task, I assume. You have worked and you've lived and you obviously travel many parts of the world. Uh, it doesn't seem easy to work for one's nation, especially while residing in a foreign country. So now I would like to ask you if you could tell us about some of the toughest moments, difficult experiences, uh, if you could share with us. Yeah, of course. Um, as far as the work is concerned, mm -hmm. uh, the, I have no, I had no problems because I like uh, challenging tasks. Uh -huh. But uh, when I was posted uh, in uh, in Africa for two and a half years, mm -hmm. uh, it was quite difficult uh, for my family because I always worried that uh, uh, my children uh, could get sick mm -hmm. because of the uh, endemic. Uh, disease uh, like malaria in in, uh, in Africa, and once once you get sick, uh, it's difficult to uh, get to the hospital mm. and uh, to find the uh, uh, the uh, capable uh, the medical doctors. So it was quite a hard time mm -hmm. for us. So apart from that, uh, I, I liked uh, being posted uh, to uh, any corner of the world. I see. Of course, you know, along with the tough moments, the difficult moments, always come the rewarding moments. So I'd also like to ask if you could share with us uh, one or two yeah. as many rewarding moments uh, that you've experienced, yes. that you have. So is it time for me to uh, praise myself? Sure, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome to. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, in 2009, uh, I was uh, the posted in France, mm -hmm. uh, the embassy in France. I was given a special mission at the time to re-establish a permanent delegation to UNESCO because the permanent delegation to UNESCO of Korea was downsized and merged into uh -huh. the embassy after the uh, the, the financial crisis of Korea mm -hmm. in 1997. Yes. Uh, so uh, I had to uh, find the, uh, the the offices, and also I, I had to uh, hire new staffs uh, mm -hmm. for the new delegation, um, and also uh, we, we had to uh, get the uh, sufficient budget. Uh, for uh, establish, uh, to establish the system of the, uh, the, the delegation. Mm -hmm. And it was quite uh, challenging work, but after completing uh, yeah. this, and I, I feel uh, you know, quite uh, Reward, know, yes. yeah, rewarded. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Oh, I, I, did, I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did work. it. Yes. It was me. <laughs> and after that, uh, I focused on the UNESCO issues mm -hmm. and Especially in 2010, um, the Intergovernmental Committee uh, meeting for intangible cultural heritage was held mm -hmm. in Nairobi, Kenya. So at that year, uh, Korea was the uh, vice chair uh, of the country. So Kenya was the chair country. So but during the five, five days, uh, the conference, um, the, usually the, the chairperson uh, is presiding um, the, the meetings, mm -hmm. but he cannot do that all. So uh, uh, I got a chance to uh, 
the, the replace him for uh -huh. two days. So it was quite uh, a special experience for me. Mm -hmm. And after the meeting, uh, the, the people at the secretariat and other delegations uh, praised me yes. for uh, the, the, uh, finding a solution mm -hmm. and come up with the uh, conclusion and with the uh, decision. So I was quite <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, I'm encouraged. Sure yeah, yes, I'm so. sure they don't just select anyone. Uh, they, you know, asked you because they knew that you would be able to do it, that, that you were capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. So I, I think you. when it comes to achieving something that's that's quite challenging, the more rewarded you feel. Yeah. That's true. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, also a very important issue, the unification on the Korean Peninsula. It's something that needs to be, mm -hmm. I guess, solved. Um, it's like the Korean dream, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, and what is the role of public diplomacy regarding the improvement of North-South relations? Mm -hmm. It is very important, mm -hmm. actually, the public diplomacy. Um, when I... Uh, the, when I have the, uh, the tour as the delegation of uh, public diplomacy in the United States mm -hmm. to explain uh, the peace uh, the policy or peace initia initiatives of the Korean government to the uh, general public or the opinion leader, is to, uh, the objective is to get the support from the international community and from other countries. Mm -hmm. Because the unification or uh, peaceful uh, solution on the uh, Korean Peninsula cannot achieve uh, only by the South Korea and North Korea. So we need the support from the international community. So uh, we, we have to uh, do more uh, in this uh, public diplomacy activities to get uh, to, to have more understanding uh, from the general public or the opinion leaders of mm -hmm. the other countries. So that is very important for us. Do you feel that it'll take some time? Uh, will it take quite some time for it to happen? When it comes to the time plan, uh -huh. uh, it's really difficult uh, for us mm. uh, to predict. But however, uh, the, our government uh, the Korean government maintains uh, the three uh, guiding principles mm -hmm. to resolve uh, the, the issues uh, surrounding the Korean Peninsula. So number one is the zero tolerance for war, mm -hmm. and the second is the mutual uh, security guarantee, and then the co prosperity. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, announced by uh, the President Moon Jae in at the uh, UN General Assembly uh, September last year. Yes. However, it, it was maintained from the beginning of the, uh, this uh, government mm -hmm. uh, from uh, 2017. Uh, I think the, the, the core of this peace initiatives is based on the uh, coexistence of two Koreas. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the unification will come naturally after uh, the certain period of coexistence mm -hmm. and the harmony and the reconciliation yes. uh, between uh, two, two Koreas. Yes. These are uh, key words that we often hear when it comes to uh, the two Koreas reuniting, uh, as you've mentioned, prosperity, mm -hmm. coexistence, and peace, mm -hmm. of course. Now, lastly, before we uh, let you go, I'd like to ask if you could share with us one task that you wish to achieve uh, during the remainder of your term. Actually, there is no fixed term for uh, the ambassador for public diplomacy. Ah, it's unlike uh, the ambassador posted abroad. Mm -hmm. However, uh, this year, uh, I, I, we are going to focus more on the budget, manpower, and strategy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, actually, the foreign ministry uh, plays a leading role in the public diplomacy of Korea. And the foreign ministry provides the, uh, the platform for uh, the actors in the public diplomacy uh, do the public diplomacy activities mm -hmm. uh, better. So, uh, as I mentioned, the, we need more budget yes. and more manpower mm -hmm. and also the, uh, uh, the, the better uh, strategy yes. to do uh, better.
Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank you very much for your time today. I know uh, you're on a very tight schedule, uh, and I hope that uh, you will be able to achieve every single one of your tasks uh, during the many years of your position serving as Ambassador for Public Diplomacy. Thank you very much once again for being on the show today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank, thank you. you. Public diplomacy no longer seems to be a difficult term. Today we've learned that each individual, like you and I, can play a role for public diplomacy, whether it be a citizen blogger, building friendships and relationships through social media, and also promoting Korea and Korea's many attractions. These are all forms of public diplomacy. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you again next time.